There's no way that most people wanted this government because anyone who would have voted for Fianna Fáil was told they weren't going to get Fine Gael. And certainly people who voted for the Greens, certainly young people who wanted to do something on climate change, won't be happy that they've rescued Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, brought them back into power. I think there's a certain fear among a lot of working people. The first item on the agenda is going to be who pays for COVID-19. Will it be you know, working ordinary people who paid for the last bailout or will it be the wealthier in society? We're here today and um, we have the fabulous teams travelled all the way from Cork, Henry Street, Tala, Blanchestown, all the staff from Debenhams behind us. Um, new government has been signed in today. Obviously for Debenhams we have to clearly decided that it has been a uh, clearies part two for us. We're calling on the government to please stand up and um, stop the retail massacre that's happening all in Ireland at the moment. If not come out, he's some ladies up here travelled all the way up for his constituency that would love to shake his hand. They're right down the back here. So uh, we'll be here if he wants to come out and have a talk. Um, he now said that he was going to support us outside the door. He said he was helping. So we're asking him now to put his uh, words into action now. Well, I'm very happy. I, I would be a member of Fianna Fáil and I've canvassed with Micheál Martin for many, many years. I admire the man. I think it could be one of the strongest governments ever. And if he's anything to, uh, to live up to, um, which I... I know myself he is, I'd be very confident with Michael Martin, he'd be a fantastic Taoiseach. And I wish him all the very best and all in Dublin Central have, have, we're rooting for him, so good luck to you Michael.